Really wanted to start working on the bus today, but um, this just shows to you that this is literally what happens some days. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I just wanted to stop in here and say that um, this week, I've literally been trying to figure out this whole electrical system. I've uh, just been asking people online and uh, asking friends that are um, actual electricians because we've seen too many schoolies that um, catch on fire or there's a shore or something like that. So um, I pretty much have everything dialed in. I just have to do a couple more things. So this week was really more of just like learning about AC, DC, um, types of wires, 12 to 12, 3, 14 to whatever. Um, and it's pretty cool because I'm learning a lot. So I just want to let you guys know that this week we didn't really work on the bus, just straight up learning. So next week we're going to get back to it. Enjoy this video and we'll see you guys next week. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a day in a life. I think I haven't done this in a long time. I wanted to show you guys what it takes to train for 100K and also while building a bus and editing photos and videos for a uh, normal job. So we're gonna get started. I know you guys saw what I just had, but uh, we're gonna put the bike away for Emily because uh, she's bringing a bike with us, or not with us, she's bringing a bike today. I'm about to get her a little basket and a little water bottle holder so that she can feed me while I'm running. Cause today I'm gonna be doing 18 miles. Um, my training starting to pick up. I'll put a screenshot of where I'm at and I'll circle where um, my training starts or what I'm doing. I'm gonna bring the GoPro with me so you guys could come along the run. So let's get to it. We just made it to Huntington. Well, not really Huntington. It's uh, the end of Bolsa Chica, and we're gonna be running past Huntington, pretty much almost uh, near um, Newport, because that's nine miles there, and then nine miles back. The weather's pretty nice. It's a cool, chill weather. Emily's gonna be running, or not running. <laughs> Emily's not gonna be running. Emily's not gonna be running. She's gonna be riding her uh, bike. Uh, next to me, which is uh, crucial if you're training longer distances. Uh, we're going to be hanging out in probably 10 minutes. So we'll see you guys when we're on there, and I'll let you guys know how I feel halfway through. So before I start, I wanted to show you guys what I have um, and what I'm bringing with me. 200 calories of the goo for my first hour. Um, another. I think it's like 200 calories also right here on this side. And then I have another 260 calories on this side. And that is going to be for the ending. Uh, for my water, I have normal water on one side. And on the other side, I have uh, First Forms. Um, I don't know what it's called. I think it's called Intra Force, I think. And then I also have... Shoes. <laughs> Almost fell. And I also have uh, another extra when I hit mile nine to uh, replenish. And then at the very end, I will have this little snack. So that's what is in the pack today. And then Emily is on this uh, triathlon bike right here with a basket. This is her get up right here. You start this for some better people. I'm gonna replenish some of our calories and our sodium. I got the goo toasted marshmallow. And yes, I eat this while I'm running. So this is how you feed yourself during a run. And uh, we'll see you guys at mile nine. All right, everybody. 
everybody. So um, my distance right now is nine miles, halfway. Uh, I've been running it at a 10:14 pace. Um, I don't know the split times right now because I don't want to save it because uh, I'm gonna have a total of 18 miles. But right now we're I stopped at this little park in Newport. We're about to uh, stretch out a little bit. Uh, also, this is a good thing to know if you're running longer distances. Uh, during training, it's always good to stop maybe five minutes to like stretch out because um, you don't want to strain your muscles too much. But when it's time for the race, then that's when you guys actually just push through. And if you want to know if I ran my runs all the way through, sometimes I do, but most of the time, halfway mark, stretch it out, get a goo, and uh, you know, just try to prep the body for race day. So we're about to stretch out real quick. And if you want to know if I ran my runs all the way through, sometimes I do, but most of the time, halfway mark stretch it out get a goo and uh you know just try to prep the body for race day so we're about to stretch out real quick and then we'll see you when we're back all right everybody so i finished the run um emily had to stop because her back was hurting so i'm about to go pick her up but i'll just put up a picture of my mile times uh, or my mile splits and the uh the overall time so now that the 18 miles is done uh, i think we're gonna go get something to eat and then head home shower and then get ready for the bus so we'll see you guys on the back all right so we made a detour before going home one of them is coffee we went to this place, but Emily says it's not good, so we're not gonna blow it up or anything because it's not that good. But I'm about to put you guys on. If you guys like Hawaiian barbecue, don't get Ono's trash. Either get L and L or Matiki's. Matiki's. Shout out to Jordan. Jordan, if you're watching this, thank you. Uh, the first one they had was in Anaheim, and now there's one here in Huntington. They have one in Vegas, there's like a lot of There's one in Vegas now, and there's like another place, so. Um, it's definitely grown, but they have the best barbecue, in my opinion. Yeah. Them and L&L, so. I'll show you guys a video of it right now. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Home Depot because I gotta pick up some wires because we're starting to do wires this week at least just some part of it because there are some things that we ordered and that are gonna be coming in sometime this week I don't know when but um, yeah so come to Home Depot with me and then we'll get back on the bus once we're back home It's 6.20 right now. I just got back. Um, Home Depot's not even that far from me. I left like around 5.15. It took like an hour. But anyways, uh, I really wanted to start working on the bus today, but um, this just shows to you that this is literally what happens some days. Uh, this happens more on the days that I do my longer runs, which you guys saw my schedule um, and my training plan that I'm gonna be running 30 miles next Sunday. Hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of this video. Um, I might do more of these, but it's gonna be whenever I do my short days, like my 10 miler days, uh, just so that I can actually come home and then um, work on the bus and show you guys my day to day. But yeah, this is it. This was pretty fun to make, just kind of show you guys what I do. And sometimes it's not glamorous, sometimes it is. So if you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram, um, follow our schoolie page. Um, and if this is your first time here, we are building a schoolie. We're still going to be working on it tomorrow. But anyways, thank you guys again for watching. Peace.